What if you can change your boring checkout page from this to that using a few easy steps? That is what I'm going to be showing you in today's tutorial. So I'm going to go through step by step how to set it all up. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So what you need to do is to go ahead and install WP Funnels. Link to that in the video description below. All right. So I've already gone ahead and installed it. So the next thing now is to create your funnel. So I'm going to come over here click on funnels and then we're going to create a first funnel so for this we're going to build from scratch and we can just call this uh, global checkout create funnel now over here we need to add our first step so i'm going to click here and then i'm going to choose checkout i'm going to now click on start from scratch and we're going to name it checkout create step all right so the next thing you need to do is to come over here to the top and enable global funnel now we're going to come over here and click on this gear icon. So here we need to specify to uh, enter the funnel if. So I'm going to say if uh, any product is selected because this is going to be a global funnel. If you want to apply coupon codes, you can just activate it there. But I'm going to leave mine as it is. Now here's a uh, very important field. So if I click here on edit fields, so the fields option is very important because this is where you can decide what fields you want to have active. So for example, let's say you're selling uh, digital products, you may not need to have all the shipping details but if you're selling a physical product you need to have those details so this is where you can go in and customize them all right so in my case i just want to go in and disable quite a lot of these so i'm going to start by uh, disabling these and all i'm going to leave is the first name last name and email so i've disabled all the fields i don't need i'm going to drag this up here to the top just below the first name and last name. So now that I have this, uh, and by the way, before I move away from this page, you can also add a custom field over here, but we're not gonna do that yet. Okay, so now I'm gonna scroll all the way down here and click on save changes. Next, I'm gonna come over here on additional fields. Now, I don't really need additional fields here, so I'm going to disable it. Scroll all the way down and click on save changes. So I'm gonna close out of here. The next step now is to go in and customize our form. And to do that, you just need to click on this pencil icon. So the page builder I'm using is Divi, but uh, WP Funnels works with Elementor. It also works with Gutenberg. So I'm going to click here on use Divi Builder and edit with the Divi Builder. I want to build this from scratch. So now I can decide what fields I need to have in here. So I'm going to go with a layout of two thirds, one third. And in here, I'm going to search for the module. So it's called WP Funnels. And the one I need is the checkout. So here I can decide what sort of uh, layout I need. So it's a two column layout or we can also have multi-step. Now I really like multi-step, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. I'm going to save for now. Now over here on the right, we can also decide to add other information like testimonials, for example. So let's add a testimonial module. So I'm going to search for it and select it. So let's add a name. Next, let's add our image. So I'm going to click here on image. And I'm going to now upload an image. So I'm going to click here on Upload Files. And I'm just going to drag and drop my file here. And then upload an image. Okay, great. So now that I have my image in here, I'm going to go in and customize my text as well. So I'm going to come over here. And paste my dummy text like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is to come over here to Elements. Because I don't want to show the, I, uh, the quote. So it is right there at the top. So I normally just disable it like that and then save. All right. So now, right now, my form is not showing because I haven't added a product onto my cart. So I'm going to save this page and then back over here. We're just going to go to our shop and just add a product to the cart. So over here on WooCommerce products, if I click on all products, you'll notice that I've added one product into the cart and here it is. So to add a product, it's quite easy. All you have to do is to add the product name, which is right here at the top. You also need to add a product description. You need to also add the price. And then finally, over here, you need to add the product image. So once you've added these three things, you can just update it or publish it. Now, once published, you can then view this product like that. So what I'm going to do now is just to go through the process of trying to add this to the cart so we can see our global checkout. So I'm going to click on add to cart and then I'm going to say view cart and then proceed to checkout. So this is what the checkout looks like so far. 
Another way of quickly adding a product to your cart is by coming over here to WP Funnels, click on uh, Funnels, and we can now go into our global checkout and make some customizations in here. So if I click here and then click on uh, this gear icon, I can actually decide if I need to add a product or not. So over here, you can see here, if I say uh, product is, I can choose the specific product and mine is a lorem ipsum. So let's say I select that and save changes. So if I come back over here now and refresh this page, our form is now showing, which is great. So from this point onwards, you can go in now and pretty much customize anything that you want. So let's start off by uh, adding a background color here to our row. So I'm going to come over here to my row settings. I'm going to snap this over to the left. And over here on background, we're just going to add a dark gray like that. And then over here on the design, we are going to make some rounded corners. So I'm going to click on border and I'm going to set this to 10. Now I'm going to add some spacing. So I can give my form here some breathing space. So I'm going to come over here to spacing and set this to about 20 pixels all around. So notice that I'm activating this chain icon. It just makes it uh, quicker to apply the setting to both sides. Okay, so now that I've added that to uh, all the sides, I can now go ahead and save. Okay, great. Now over here, let's go ahead and customize this a little bit. So I'm going to go in and uh, click on design. And again, I'm going to give this some rounded corners. So I'm going to come over here to border and we're going to set this to 10 because 10 seems to be working fine here. And I need to bring it down a little bit. So I'm going to come over here to spacing and I'm going to add margin to the top. So notice that I'm just clicking on this dial like that. So once they're in line, I think I am good to go. So I think uh, 22, maybe 20 works better here. Okay, great. So now that I have all that set, I can now hit save. So you can change the background color of this if you'd like and also add any content that you like in here. So the next step now is to add another section. So all the way down here to the bottom, I'm going to click on this plus button and add a regular section. So in here, I'm going to add a single column and add a text module like that. And I'm just going to call this checkout. I'm also going to set this to heading one and then center it. Right. So I'm also going to uh, save this and then drag this all the way to the top because I want this all the way to the top because this is going to be our main title. All right, so I have it here now. Uh, let's go back in here and give it um, a bit more customization. So I'm going to click here. And the first thing I'm going to do is to set my padding both to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to click here on padding. So I'm going to set this to 100 like that. Next, I am going to uh, give this a background color. So I'm going to click on um, content, background, and let's just set this to black so we can really see what we're doing. All right, great. So now that I have this black here, uh, the next step now is to uh, get rid of this space over here. So to do that, you want to come over here to spacing and let's set this at minus 80. Great. So it looks like minus 80 is working. I'm going to save now. Let's go into the title now. So I'm going to click on this gear icon and we are going to change the color so it's easier to read. So I'm going to click here on design, heading text, and let's change our font first to Poppins and select it and change the color. And we may also need to change this uh, font weight to bold. And let's uh, make sure that um, we increase the size as well. So we are going to go with about, say, 42. Okay, uh, we're going to add a bit of letter spacing. And then we're going to save. All right, so that's looking great. Now we can even go further and customize this by adding some negative margin here. So our form appears to uh, be crossing this line here like that. So that's looking great. Uh, now let's go in and add a drop shadow. So I'm going to click here on design and we're going to go to box shadow and we're going to choose this one right here so if i scroll down yeah that looks much better i'm going to save now at the moment we notice that our form here is not really showing like how it's supposed to because we did mention that we wanted a multi-step so that only shows after you've saved it so i'm going to click on exit visual builder and now you can see we have our multi-step so I can note, I noticed that here the spacing at the top and on the side needs to be a bit more. So I'm going to go in and customize that. Now you notice as well that the fields 
uh, pretty much our first name, last name, and email address as I set it up. And we also have the next option here, which takes us to the additional information. And then finally, to the actual order. So let's go back in and do a few customizations. So if you want your uh, text here in your form to match the rest of your website, all you have to do is to go into the actual module by clicking here on this gear icon. So what I'll, know, what I'll do here is to go into design and then I'll start here with the heading. So if I click here on heading, I can just start changing all my fonts. So in this case, the font I'm using throughout this is Poppins. So I'm going to start adding it like that. And you can also uh, customize the colors here as well. So I'm going to move on to the next part. And this is the input fields. And again, I'm going to select uh, Poppins. So do the rest of all the fields until everything all matches. And if you do like to change the colors here, you can just click on um, add color and then choose the color you'd like. So as you can see, as I'm dragging this, the colors are actually changing. So unlike this fairly light because this is just our information showing where to enter the details. So that looks fine. So go ahead and add all the font types for each and every item here. So I'm done adding all my uh, fonts. So I'm going to save. Now remember, you can add pretty much anything you like here. You can even add a countdown timer. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to do that. So if I click here on this plus button, I'm going to search for countdown. So let's quickly go ahead and customize this. So the first thing you want to do is to come over here to the background and remove it. Now let's go in and customize our text. So the quickest way is to click here on this brush or this paintbrush icon and let's change our font. And we can also adjust our size here like that. So I think I'll bring it down to about 40 and let's go into the labels. So again, I'm going to come over here to my font and change it to Poppins. The size I think is fine. And I'm also going to do this to the title as well. Change this to Poppins. So now back over here on content, I can just go into the text and say sale is ending on. And then finally, I think on the background here, if we really want to make it stand out, we can give it a background color. So maybe that's going to work. So we may want to reduce uh, the sizing here as well because that's a bit too much. So let's shrink it down to about 60%. And also over here in spacing, there's a lot of uh, padding around this. So I'm going to bring it down to 20 on all sides. In fact, I think that that works. And all I have to do now is to center it. So I'm going to come back to sizing and center that. Now I can save. So now I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. And here is our final design. Now, I know I just went quickly and started working on WP Funnels. I also created a review so you can see in detail how you can use WP Funnels. Link to that is right here. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Want to save time designing websites? Download my free SiteMaker Divi template. It has a header, footer, a 404 page, and also buttons, text, headings, all pre-designed for you, giving you a professional working website right from the get-go. It is very easy to customize. It's 100% free. Link to that in the video description below. And if you haven't bought Divi yet, get 10% off when you use my link in the video description below.